Hey everybody, I'm Captain Zap. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be installing this storage cellar in the basement of our base. This is inspired of something that happened in my survival world. I was heading back home, and this home I dearly loved. This is truly a masterpiece. Ah, oh, it's William and Charlie, Jack, my guard dogs and cats. They did well. The house is still standing. And I just love, you know, being able to pour yourself into these kind of builds where you just get to, you know, give it... No. Ah! Ah, nobody's overreacting, Jack. Okay, let's go, guys. We're gonna need some redstone. To save further tragedy, we're gonna make this system be an automatic sorting machine. We designed it so you can just throw your items on the floor upstairs and they'll get automatically sorted down here. Worse, that was real life. First step is gonna be clear this massive room, leading from our kill chamber all the way to the corner of the room up here. All right, the room is clear, and we did it about six blocks from that glass line on the ceiling, um, and we need this corner open so we can throw stuff on the floor. Now the random item chest stack. Awesome, now we need this hopper line that leads from the random storage to the hole in the floor. We need a temporary two block wall behind the hoppers. Now we're going to start step by step building the actual organizing machine. This is where we place the dead end hopper and this hopper is going to be the one that decides what item is being organized. Now we're going to remove these temporary blocks and get ready to start the platform and the redstone behind the hoppers. So we're going to fill in behind the hoppers the entire way along with a platform so that we can put the redstone on top of this. We're going to place a redstone torch on the inside of this block and that's going to be turning on and off the hoppers. Next is a repeater facing into that block. Now we need a comparator that has the two prong side facing the hopper. Nice, looking good. Now we're gonna do the same thing behind this section.
Next, we need levers on top of each of these barrels, and this is going to lock the dead end hopper so that if you're not ready to store things in there yet, the hoppers won't pull any items into them. Now, we're going to close in the top end of this organizing system. We're going to put trap doors here, and this is going to allow us to access the dead end hopper so we can set the items from the front. There we go. Now we're going to do some decorating on the ceiling and add a section of manual storage on the wall behind us. Now, I'm using barrels for all this, but you want to make sure your villagers are locked in their trades before you use barrels. Now, half slab the floor. Now, let's get into loading up the hoppers to set the items that we want to be organized. We're going to put in 64 smooth stone, but I don't recommend putting a full stack in here because if you put 64 in one hopper, it will overload the redstone on the back end and drain the hoppers on either side. So when you're filling this, make sure you only put about 25 blocks in there and then spread them out so that you have one in each slot to the right and then 18 are in the other slot on the left side. Item frames to help distinguish what items are getting sorted. Now let's drop the remainder in this hopper, which is the hopper that's connected to the floor upstairs, and make sure it leads into here. Perfect, and we got the rest of our items set, so now the machine is fully ready and active. Up here, we're going to half slab this with a different colored block so we know where to throw the items. And in the corner here, we're going to put a shulker draining machine. It's really just two hoppers leading into the system with a sticky piston behind it so that we can close it in and pop the shulker. Okay, so if we put a shulker box in this spot, it will drain into our sorting system so that we can go and do our thing and come back. And when you're ready to pick it back up again, flick the lever and it'll pop it for you. Well, that's my video on the storage cellar for the Zaps Magic Cube. And just go and enjoy the fact that hoppers aren't flammable. And to my fellow noobs, I salute you.